The iPhone SE Plus is an incredible smartphone for those on a tighter budget, and I'll be sharing the details right after this. Today's video is sponsored by High PDF, the all-in-one PDF solution available as an online platform or an app. Using the High PDF online interface, we can fully take control of our PDF documents and process just about anything. We have compressed PDF that allows you to choose a large PDF file. We run it through their online compression feature and it considerably reduces the file size. We can merge PDFs if you have multiple PDF files that you want as a single document. You can simply add them here one by one using their easy merging interface. We also have OCR or optical character recognition that converts any PDF into to an editable text document or more, and this allows you to quickly extract and edit text from any PDF. You can also download the High PDF app and have all these features readily available in the same easy to use application. From the app, we can convert PDFs, save other files as PDFs, encrypt them, compress them, and merge them as well as the OCR feature. Now, the optical character recognition is probably my favorite feature as it really does allow you to do anything with any PDF. But whatever your needs are, High PDF has you covered with their easy to use features, so go ahead and give them a try today by clicking the linked in the description. So the iPhone SE Plus is coming and today we've got plenty of news to share with you about the specs, design, price and release date. Before we get started, please like the video if you're a fan of Apple and let me know in the comments what device you're watching this video on. So after Best Buy accidentally listed a screen protector for the iPhone SE Plus 2020, many were hoping that it was going to make its appearance at the latest iPhone launch event, but it didn't happen and to be honest, that was always very likely. Well, the iPhone SE Plus is a great budget choice and allows Apple to capture a much lower end of the market. With the release of the iPhone 12 and the 12 mini, they would only be adding competition to their own devices. If someone wants iOS, then their only choice is Apple. And let's not forget when it comes to the iPhone SE Plus, although the phone is a bit larger than the iPhone 12 mini, the display is only 0.1 inches bigger thanks to the large bezels. With its predecessor launching in April 2020, we can expect the iPhone SE Plus in April 2021 at the earliest, but reliable analyst Ming-Chi Kuo says that we won't actually be seeing it until the second half of 2021. There are still many confused as to why Apple would release such a phone, but it is very simple. The iPhone SE was successful and the iPhone SE Plus will be as well. They're releasing an old chipset in an even older shell, which means they hugely save in research and development costs and can sell the phone for much less. The more people on iOS, the better for Apple as they make plenty of money from services as well as app purchases. And anything you purchase on the App Store or even your in-app purchases, they're making 30% of that transaction so the more people on iOS, the better for Apple. While the 12 mini will be a great choice for those who want a smaller phone, while it is more powerful than the iPhone SE Plus, it still costs a lot more. The iPhone SE Plus is said to adopt the very same strategy as the SE, so although it's coming later, we're still going to be getting the A13 Bionic instead of the new A14, but the main differences are going to be a larger smartphone and a dual camera setup. There are some who say that the iPhone SE Plus is no longer coming and we hope that their info is wrong. We already had proof of its existence in iOS 14 code and this was discovered by 9to5Mac, but it's not to say that that couldn't be cancelled. The specs and design are pretty much going to be the same as the iPhone 8 Plus, but with the A14 chipset instead. And for those interested in the full specs, we're going to run through them now. When it comes to the iPhone SE Plus 2021, what we essentially have is an iPhone 8 Plus, but with some improved specification to make it a suitable device for next year. We get a 5.5 inch display with a resolution of 1080x1920. Now this isn't going to be an AMOLED display, but just a normal LCD to save costs. We get a 16x9 aspect ratio and 401 pixels per inch, and the display is of course protected by Gorilla Glass. We get the more traditional iPhone look for the SE Plus with some big bezels all round and a physical home button which sports Touch ID. And when I say physical button though, it's a home pad that as with the 8 uses Apple's Taptic Engine to create the feeling of a click when pressed, but it's not a physical button. When it comes to the rear, we're getting a dual camera setup on the iPhone SE Plus. We're reportedly getting a 12 megapixel wide angle along with a 12 megapixel telephoto for a little bit of optical zoom. 
Thanks to the new chipset, the camera is going to be capable of 4K videos at 60 frames a second. In terms of hardware, we get the Apple A13 Bionic, which even in 2021 is still a powerful chipset. It's coupled with 3GB of RAM and comes in a choice of 64, 128 or 256 storage. It's all powered by a 2691 mAh battery with support for 18 watt fast charge as well as wireless charging and it will be IP68 water resistant. It's going to have Bluetooth 5, Wi-Fi 6 and the color choices are still unknown at this time and it will of course ship with iOS 14. When it comes to pricing, this is something that may change over the coming months but analysts are predicting that the reason for a later launch is to keep the prices down and in line with the iPhone 2020 we saw this year. If this is true, we can expect the iPhone SE Plus to be around £380 or $350 on release which is an incredible bargain for a new iPhone in 2021. Unfortunately, that's all the news I've got for you guys today, but as soon as we hear anything on the iPhone SE Plus, I'll be updating you guys straight away. As always though, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments, so who out there is waiting for the iPhone SE Plus, who's already purchased an iPhone 12, and who thinks that we won't even see an iPhone SE Plus? But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.